Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. We are going to be solving this engineering mechanics problem and it reads water is sprayed at an angle of 90 degrees from the slope at 20 meters per second. Determine the range. All right. Solution. Again, here we are dealing with horizontal and vertical motion. So we have uh, vertical motion. The considerations here are the acceleration is what is constant okay but in the horizontal direction we don't have we do not have any acceleration all right so for vertical motion they are saying our y will be equal to y0 y0 plus v naught all these are in the y okay v naught y by t plus half g by t squared where g is equal to minus 9.81 meters per second squared okay g is equal to minus 9.81 meters per second squared and then we have our velocity final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus g times t then we have the derived equation from the two uh final velocity squared is equal to v naught squared uh, plus 2 acceleration to gravity y final minus y naught and then for horizontal motion we have x is equal to x naught plus v naught times t this v naught is v naught in the x direction here the acceleration is equal to 0 v final v final is equal to v naught and v squared v final squared is equal to v naught squared acceleration is equal to zero so we have this problem that is on an inclined slope uh, or it is uh, on a slope and we have this jet or water being sprayed at, at an angle of 90 degrees okay to uh, the slope or to the plane okay which is at the slope all right so what we need to do is we need to find uh, the components of uh, this particular uh, initial velocity in the x and y coordinates so we'll still use our coordinates as this one this will be our coordinate plus x plus y like so so let me just draw a few lines okay something like so okay let it pass where i want it to pass somewhere there yeah. It's straight enough. No, it's not. Okay, something like this. All right. So we let's have let's write uh, angles here so that we just remind each other. Okay. So now we have this problem here. So we are saying we are going to have this point, this point is our reference and this point here. All right. And if that is the case, then from here to there, can I use green? From there to there, and also from there to there so this one here it, this is going to be equal to since this is ara since this is ara this has been given to us this ara this is ara this is ara therefore this is ara therefore this one here 
and the angle we've seen the uh, the the slope of uh, the slope of uh, or the angle of this slope. Okay, we have um, the rise, the run of four, and the rise of uh, three. Okay, so it, it's up to you. It's either you can find you know to say this angle here is going to be equal to this angle here, right? And it is the same also there. Do you accept? You accept, right? It's the same, right? So you can find the angle if you want to, or you can use this triangle as the slope. All right, I'll use the triangle. But if you want, you can find those angles and so on. So I know to say this horizontal, okay, this horizontal from this point to that point is going to be ara, ara by uh, 4 over 5. Do you accept? Then this one here is going to be R by 3 over 5. If you want to, you can use the angles. You still get back to the same thing. So now, what I'll do is, I'll get this angle here and translate it there. All right? So if I was to take this angle here, therefore, it is going to be something like this. Right? So this one here will be my 4 from there to there. Then here it will be my 3. Then from there to there, this length here, my hypotenuse will be 5. Do you agree? It's just the same angle. It will give me the same angle if I was to calculate using uh, 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 using a uh, actan, right? So there we go. So uh, I'm just writing this angle using a triangle. I mean, using a triangle. This is my four. This is my three, and this is my five here. Okay, that length. All right. So it means this VB it will have a component in the x and in the y. All right. To have a component in the x and in the y. Okay, it's going to have a component like so. And then we'll have another component going up like, like so. So this one here, I'll call it, this is in the y. So this is bby. Going to be equal to and then i'll change this coordinate system instead of x going this side i'll choose x going the other side that's for convenience so my vb is going to be equal to 20 it's going to be equal to 20 times okay 20 times 4 over 5 then this gives me what this gives me gives me 16 meters per second then this one here is going to be equal to v, vbx is equal to 20 by uh, 3 over 5 this one is going to be equal to 12 meters per second i'm choosing this as my reference like so no big deal this is my positive this is my uh, positive x just my reference i just want it to be like this okay all right so what other information do we need i think that is about it so we've given all the initial conditions here all right so now we are saying at this point here here um my y my y final because this is my this is my this is uh the starting point and then this is uh so here my y node my y node is equal to r3 over 5 that's my y node here okay and then my x node at this point is going to be equal to 0 then here My y final 
is equal to 0 at this point and my x final is going to be equal to r4 over 5 all right so we have all these initial conditions all right so with these initial conditions we can begin our calculation so you want to determine the range but this range that we are finding is this one here this inclined one here is the one we are finding okay but we had to reorient this okay based on our coordinate system and then at the end of the day we still need to find the error because if you look at all these initial conditions they're all they, they've all been expressed in terms of what in terms of error okay so now which equation do we use here look at the information we have you want to find error okay so error can be found by using this equation but we cannot just use this equation because information is not all the information is given so we need to use more than one equation in here we only have we have uh, the x final is expressed in terms of r x naught uh, is zero of course v naught okay is also uh, v naught in the x is a number t uh, is not known right time is not known okay so this has two unknowns it has r and t then if we came to this also this equation here what we have y is expressed y final is expressed in terms of r y node is zero i mean y node is expressed y final is zero y node is expressed in terms of r and then v node y is a number and then the rest we have except t so even here we have va okay that is not known as well as i mean r that is not known as well as uh, t okay so we have two unknowns in both equations so let's start with this one so we have y is equal to y naught plus v zero y plus half g t squared what is y final y final at this point where the ball is going to hit is what is zero okay so this is zero what is y not y not the initial position here is what is r three over five what is v not v not in the y direction v not in the y direction is v b y it is what it is 16 this is by t here sorry i forgot in a t okay let me just write it let me write it let me write it so we have this is half g t squared and then a t by t then minus because g is minus so this is going to be equal to half times 9.81 by t squared all right yep so we have t and r as the unknown so this is the first equation okay let's write the other one there we have x so this is equation one we have x is equal to x naught plus v naught x times t x final x final is equal to r four over five x naught x naught is equal to zero and v naught in the x is equal to 12 times t so this is the second equation can i wrap this thank you
So we have now two equations. We have two equations that we need to solve. We have two equations. So we have ARA. We have ARA. ARA by 4 over 5 is equal to 12t okay so let's make our subject of the formula all right so we have R which is going to be equal to 12 by 5 by t then divided by 4 so this is going to give us so 5 by 12 then divided by 4 4 into 12 is 3 3 by 5 is 15 so we have a 15 t so replacing r in the second equation which is equal to 0 is equal to r 3 over 5 plus 16 t minus half by 9.81 is 4.905 t squared right 9.81 Okay, so replacing R, the 15 we have a 0 is equal to uh, 15t by 3 over 5 plus 16t minus 4.905t squared. And then our 0 is going to be equal to 5 into 5 is 3 5 into 15 is 3 3 by 3 is 90 and then 90 plus 16 gives us 9 so 15 of 5 is over 5 is 3 by 3 is 9 9 plus 16 is 25 so we'll have a 25 t minus 4.5 905 t squared. So we'll have t is equal to 0, one of the solutions, and another t is going to be equal to um it's going to be equal to just one minute. It's going to be equal to five point zero nine seven seconds all right is that so mm -hmm. 25 divided by 4.905 okay so with this time then we can find R. then our R is going to be equal to 15 t which is equal to 76.45 76.45 meters therefore the range this range here is the range is equal to 76.45 five meters okay i guess i'm done i hope the video was helpful uh continue liking subscribing and commenting bye bye and see you in my next screencast